Okay, family, welcome to our full Smart Money Breakdown Part 1. I'm going to do, I will see if I can also do Part 2 and Part 3, but definitely those are going to come. We'll see where we finish on Part 2. But yeah, in this one, I'm going to try to teach you in the most, uh, you know, reasonable amount of minutes. And by the end of this video, you will understand these topics that are written down over here. You'll understand types of trends. You'll understand the nature of trends. You'll understand higher time frame and lower time frame, what we mean by order flow and traditional supply and demand. So what do we mean by smart money concepts? I want to tell you, it's just simply another way of analyzing the markets just by using price action rules. Why do I say that price action, the definition there is that we're using historical price action in order to predict future data or uh, structure in a way. And the very essence of that is just using price action, your charts, your candlesticks, your line charts. In this case, we're just going to be sticking to candlesticks. Okay, so but nevertheless, let us just push and make sure you get this in a reasonable amount of time. Now, I'm going to draw these things in terms of to lay out the concept then we're gonna now go into the chart thereafter so please do stick around for your own sake especially those who are beginners and a bit of those who are confused who have been trading for a time but you're confused about how to really go about just trading in the realest form of smart money you know without so many noise that a lot of this other youtubers they do i am quite simplistic uh, in my way of trading i just approach the market i don't do a lot of things onto it now let us go ahead over here i'm just gonna make sure i can put this over here now let's talk about types of trends that we have we have about three types of trends that i want to talk about okay three types of trends that we want to talk about so the first trend there that we have let's talk about it we've got what we call a bearish trend okay and also what we have a bullish trend and then the next trend that we have is what we call a ranging trend or rather it's actually just a ranging market or others can say consolidating market Okay, so where the market just goes in zigzags, this one goes up, this one goes down. Okay, most of us, we have an overall idea of what it is, but let me go deeper into it for the sake of not just putting everyone under the same bus over here in terms of understanding the types of trends, in terms of its nature or its market structure. Okay, so when we're talking about, okay, so this is what we call a bearish, so we call it bear, ish bear in terms of the animal because of when that animal fights it rises up to press you down we talk and we call this a bull so that's like a bull okay when where it's got horns i'm not that good in throwing but a bull when it attacks you as you've seen in those mexican you know uh stadium stuff where a bull attacks a man and it takes him by the horns and throws him up so simply signifying that we are actually going up I hope you you guys understand that what I mean by that now. So now let's just label this in terms of understanding the nature of the market. The nature of the market is to do this. There is no other nature of this market except for this to uh, like for them to do this. Of course, it's going down. It can't just go down in a straight line or go up in a straight line. It imprints for us a certain behavior that we want to see on the market. So this behavior that it gives us first of all it gives us what we call this points over here okay okay and i'm just gonna label them right now these are what we call lower lows we label them as ll we've got what we call lower highs lower lows and lower highs the very same thing applies over here we've got what we call higher low and what we call higher highs and the very same thing applies to this lows and highs over here. Now, when we get into the actual market phase of this, okay, let's talk about the market phase. So the market phase is how the market moves and what we call it. So when the market in a downtrend goes down, we just call it continuation. 
other traders may refer to this as, as an impulse move as it pulls back so as it goes back we call it pullback others can call it exhaustion phase i just refer to it as a pullback then the second leg i just refer to it as a continuation so the first leg that initiates that whole trend it will be an impulse continue and then pullback continuation impulse continuation the very same thing here in the bullish trend we've got the impulse pullback continuation pullback and continuation of that trend i hope you guys understand what i mean over here okay so that's what we call the market structure or the nature of the market is that as it moves in a bullish market it will create high highs when it has reached a point of peak and it pulls back to create higher lows when it just you know comes back to re-exhaust its resources and pull more strength to go higher to create a new higher high and that move and that movement there we will refer to it as a continuation it's very important because when it comes to forex trading guys the very essence of forex trading just as i was defining for you there guys when we exchanging and we want to make profit the goal of this is to make cash money zaga mula madi okay? so the goal of this is to simply make sure that we want to capitalize when it comes to trading and the very essence of that is a very simple concept alongside with this uh, market structure please stick around with me if you know it stick around i'm going to talk about some hectic stuff here that you don't know okay very simple guys why we have this labels here it helps us to know that when the market is in a downtrend we want to sell the market right when the market is in uptrend we want to just buy that market where do we want to buy it we don't just buy it anywhere we, uh, anywhere we want to buy it right here okay right here on the lower high because you want to sell something that is expensive to make more money for example if you bought a phone at let's say 1000 US dollars and you manage to sell it at 1500 so that means you have bought it at a cheaper price but you sold it at the higher price the profit that you made over there is 500 dollars so that's the very same thing here you want to discover moments where price is high in order to sell it as it depreciates and in the buying market you want to buy things when they are cheap just like the example of the phone you want to buy when it's cheap and then as it begins to sell you sell it when it's high so in this case what I would advise we don't just trade alongside because of the market phases where we just sell and buy depending on time frames but advice you want to just trade with the trend you know the higher probability of making that mula madi imali right in this case, we stay away from this type of markets when the market finds itself being stuck in this. But I'm going to let you know, I think in part two of how you're going to able to detect that. I just hope you understand it. Now, let's move on to a higher time frame structure and lower time frame structure. And how I'm going to introduce that to you. Let's go over here. Okay. So we did now take care of we did take care of types of trends the nature of trend now let's talk about higher time frame and lower time frame and what we mean by order flow over there okay let's go let's go let's go i hope this is not taking too much time i can't see the time on zoom i did record using a different software before and the audio was just not audible at all it was just cutting in between so this is my second recording in this one hour literally so this is going to two hours me recording so i would really appreciate if you do like and subscribe i do try by all means to take up valuable content that's life-changing at free okay so all you need to do is just like and subscribe so that this thing can get suggested to more people now let me let me press this now to show you over here we have time frames over here and i'm gonna teach you according to my time frames yes it will depend per trader and we'll talk about that probably in part three which type of trader are you in terms of time frame like are you a scalper are you a swing trader 
uh, but I'm gonna teach you a very good essence of um, the very good essence of just trading smart money is to do top-down analysis in in a way. Okay, so I want you to highlight these time frames. Okay, the daily time frame. Okay, the H1 time frame. Sometimes you can just use the 4H, but it's quite very similar to the daily in terms of what they show you on the chart. So about daily, 4H, H1, 15 minutes and five minutes. Okay. Now that we could, let's talk about it. So let's talk about order flow. When I talk about order flow, I'm referring to higher time frame structure okay whether it's bullish or bearish in this case we're talking about that order flow and how does it make sense that we just we don't just refer to it as just a trend in smart money you will see the importance of that then i want you now to refer to smaller time frames from h1 all the way to that 15 minutes that i showed you all the way to that five minutes that i showed you as lower time frame trends or what we call micro trends but we can just refer to it as lower time frame trends but it's micro okay micro trends now very important remember what i taught you now over here at the beginning when we're talking about the nature of structure very important it is a crucial point that a lot of you guys you have missed this one step and it has messed up your whole understanding of trading let's get into it okay i'm gonna just make an example of the bullish market okay this is a bullish market as we know as i've already drawn it okay this is a bullish market why because it has this points higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows we can clearly see that in high highs it has got an impulse pullback I and mean, yeah pullback impulse or continuation pullback impulse don't be too caught up on the terminologies guys the most important thing is that you know your stuff you understand what we mean by continuation and pullback if you're a beginner and you get caught up in terminologies you're gonna doubt yourself you're gonna you know feel like you're not quite smart and trading has nothing to do with level of iq just amount of hard work you put but not just hard work smart work okay wisdom helps over here we've seen very intellectual people fail at trading so it's not a game of stupidity or level of intellect it's just a game of wisdom okay that's why you need to learn from the right people that got wisdom and through their past mistakes they're able to show you so that you skip that whole um what we call uh walk of sorrow okay or journey of sorrow now let me get to the point that i want to make over here now think of this black trend here this bullish trend as your daily time frame as the high time frame we can refer to this as order flow okay of not the other one okay order flow so now Think of your age one 15 minutes trend as your micro trend or lower time frame trend. And we're gonna go ahead and just put it over here. Let's use yellow because I wanna match up with my company colors. Now, let's just throw it. What can happen here when the market is buying for days and weeks? On your lower time frame, it can be doing something like this where it buys, pulls back, buys, pulls back buys and then it starts selling as if like it's a bearish trend buys pulls back buys 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 pulls back all of that trend we're gonna illustrate it better now what i'm simply saying to you over here is that the yellow one refers to your lower time frame trends the black one refers to your higher time frame or your order flow order flow helps you when you're trading in this yellow one helps you to stay along to know that you're in a buying trend even when you're selling you know that it's just temporarily sells for the but you are still in a bullish order flow so when you sell you know you're just selling temporarily till you get the lowest of the price to buy even higher and to buy and buy and buy until the trend gets to exhaust itself i hope you just understand this guys 
order flow helps you to pick out. I'm gonna now go into the trend. You will see what I mean by this, okay? You will see what I mean by this. Now let's go over here. Okay, we can see we have a bullish trend. This is the daily time frame. We've got a pullback and we've got a continuation. It didn't create new, a new heights yet too, but let's just say for reason of this example, this is just the trend that we have for now. It's a bullish trend. Now we can see if we switch all the way from the daily, the black that you see over there, okay, to the H1, you will see that, look at this, you will see that it has micro trends within it, okay? Micro trends within it. Let's just take another drawing tool here from Zoom. Micro trends, I'm gonna highlight it in, uh, let's say blue, okay? We can see within a bigger bullish market or order flow, we can see that the market sells, it also pulls back, buys, pulls back, or uh, impulse pulls back, impulse pulls back, impulse pulls back. And now we, we yet about to create another um, impulse over there. If you go over here, okay, this is when the larger order flow was now beginning to sell. We can also see the very same thing that the market was giving us a whole trend. Some of you guys can see where I'm going, okay? So with smart money, what we do, the very essence of smart money is that we want to com combine higher time frame, high time frame price action to predict what's going to happen in the lower time frame price action to give us opportunities to sell better and to buy better without risking a lot of money. That's the very essence of small as um, i mean smart money uh trading and the truest form of it okay and i'll show you now as we get into supply and demand right now going back when we're talking about supply and demand let's go back here uh into just our drawing over here let's go back into that's why every information is crucial okay Let's go back, let's say bullish market. I'm gonna use a bullish market. In smart money, this higher lows here that we have, even a bearish market, this higher lows or lower high that we have here, most of the time we refer to them as demand and supply. Supply because the market is going down, a demand is when the market is demand we will basically require people to buy. So there's demand, we need people, buyers. And here the supply of sellers, sellers are just plentiful, but buyers, we require them to push the market up, right? We get into the technicalities of that very soon. Okay, this high lows are very crucial in terms of price action. For example, this is due to the market behavior or nature. What do we mean by market behavior? Let's say you got a friend and you know for sure this friend in all your 10 or 20 years of being friends is that this friend is always late to, to a something or to a meetup, to an event. They will forever be late. So therefore, when you're supposed to meet them, you know for sure you're not gonna waste your time by calling them. And when they tell you they are on their way, they're simply probably just bathing. Right, so you're gonna take your time. That's the very same thing with the market is that we've mastered the nature and the movement and the behavior of the market to a point that we've derived principles of price action due to the consistency of its movement. We've framed them and therefore we watch out for them to predict future price action. I hope you get me guys. I hope you get me. Write that definition down somewhere. So with smart money, Usually, most of the time, yes, there are other points, but in this one, I'm just teaching the basic form, okay? Where we say, okay, impulse, pull back, when the market pulls back, okay, it goes up, most likely the market is going to come back to such a zone over here and create a lower or, yeah, a higher low and go higher. So that higher low presents when price is low, in order that we can buy it. Remember, we wanna buy low and sell high. But now, how do we identify this 
demand level and the supply if the market is in a let me go back here it's in a downtrend how do we identify this supplies over here let's get into it okay by concept and then i go into the chart right now okay there's what we call for example when in a bullish market i want the market to sort of give me this when it's creating an impulse as it pulls back it must give me a drop which is the pullback it must give me a base and then it must rally that base it can be price action just congesting over here for lack of a better way due to my limited english vocabulary because this is not my mother tongue guys okay as you can see there must be congestion of price you will see it as i illustrated on price actual price or live chart there must be a congestion of price we take that whole congestion of price we stretch it across when the market pulls back valid uh, provided that it breaks this higher high when it rallies when it pulls back we use that form to buy so we buy here put our stop loss below and we expect price to go up the very same thing if the market is selling and it pulls back it needs to rally up it needs to give us price congestion of price it needs to drop and of course with that we can have the market here giving us we draw that as it pulls back we want to just pull the trigger right here to sell stop loss above and then we going all the way down let's not get into the technicalities of entering a trade right now just for you to understand the actual breakdown of smart money over here let's go into the chart i will illustrate this much better okay look at this example over here okay we're still on the higher time frame or the flow or higher structure but i just want to show you okay the very same thing here look at the last lower low but how do we highlight it do i just highlight it this small We'll get into that more but now yes i want to teach you more of taking the actual congestion of price so as you can see here the market it dropped and before going up it struggled a bit to go up here to catch momentum just before it struggled that's the base that we want so it went up and as it pulls back now look at where the market came in it came back into that base and that base is what we call demand and the market starts to buy off okay let's remove this outlet the very same thing over here guys okay the market dropped that's the demand we can now label it how, how do you know where this whole again the market dropped we got when the market just struggled a bit to go up here before picking up momentum so that's the base we use that base the whole thing to see that the market comes back into that base we mark all the candlesticks by the way something like this and the market buys off okay so that's how we identify supply and demand now let's go back to the higher time frame or the flow together with the lower time frame um Hatches over here. Let me let me just remove the stuff. Okay, let's say you were wanting to buy over here, guys. How you would usually do that is that you would put your stop loss, I mean, you put your entry at the beginning of that trend. We'll get into how you can refine for now. We'll get in later to that. Okay. And then here your stop loss may be below just to let the market breathe some traders they put it here or here let's say because now you you can see what the market did because of hindsight you can see but you don't know you're gonna put your entry right here stop loss right here that's too big right yes you're aiming for a lot of pips but that's too big of a stop loss so how do we now do it this is where smart money comes in okay how do we now do it we go into really figuring out since it's the outer flow and the outer flow is about to start a bullish market it just touched into the zone we go into the h1 okay we go into the h1 look at this let me just zoom in so you can see for the sake of this lesson look at this um when the market touched over here let me just get that drawing too when the market touched into this higher time frame demand 
okay we know already that we're in a bullish market because of the order flow so when the market starts buying off we don't need to chase it over here or to become geniuses in order to buy over here to predict oh it's gonna buy just wait for the market to really dip in into that demand sometimes it can go a bit lower it's like a jumping castle for example the lower it goes the higher it will go up or the more violent or volatile the market will be right so here it went in about 50 percent we'll talk about those things as well okay in part two we're just dealing with the overall structure here to bring about light to so many of you now as you can see it dipped in and as it dipped in over here we can see that you don't have to buy here because your your buy stop will be here your stop loss will be somewhere below the zone that will be a lot of pips so what do you do because now you know that within a larger trend you're gonna have the market sort of just doing this okay and it will pull back and still go up so that's the very same thing here you must have market faces it is tied to doing that it can never just touch a zone and just go up unless it's just news but this is higher time saying news cannot do that okay so in this case it has to respect where if it touches a zone has to imprint that lower low has to imprint a higher low you you want to buy when it starts imprinting that higher low that will present a smaller stop loss for you instead of here and then of course a tighter entry now let me clear up so we can see exactly what i'm talking about over here so you can see look at that and the very same thing here you can use this as a zone so we have the drop we have the base because the market struggled over here and we can just use this as a demand and when the market of course touch this point we can clearly see that it uses this now you can have your stop loss a bit smaller compared to the larger trend or the larger trade that you would have had your entry right here stop loss right here okay so this is sl let me just write it as big okay and this is your entry i'm gonna go into the bigger time frame let me just remove the zoom tools because it's not gonna show me let me use this okay so this would be your entry and because of this because of this zone your stop loss will be somewhere here sl will be somewhere here now check out when we go into the, the bigger trend okay so you enter somewhere here and of course take profit you'll be targeting this overall trend some of you guys would be holding so either you are targeting but anyway i will teach you how to set take profits in this case let's say you're going all the way there now if we calculate the risk to what ratio okay you would see that this is a lot look at this this is one is two almost four okay because of you actually simplified mastering the order flow of the market so that's simply the very essence of just trading smart money i know i haven't went into the labelings and so forth the breaks of structure the change of characters the fair value gaps the breakers all of this stuff we will get into them uh, very soon the liquidity you know uh stop hands all, all of that we'll get into them uh, on part two but for now this is what i want to teach you please do your homework and try to spot exactly in the very same manner that i taught you just do it on your site it's gonna help you watching these videos won't just help you You're just getting knowledge how it converts that into skill is you applying it in your spare time so i give you homework just go to about 40 pairs and look for exactly what i gave you if you really want to be successful you need to put in the work and of course don't just go off right now, right? Something very important over here. Uh, for those who wanna speed up their process of learning, let's say this is just too slow, you love the way I taught, but you wanna speed up the process of learning. Well, you're in luck because September, October month is the birthday and the birth of our Skilled FX Academy. We started Skilled FX formerly known as prophetic forex in the month of september 2019 so this is about four years in um, and we like to give 
that to the community in the form of a big discount on advanced trading costs. Okay, so our website is still propheticforex.com. Uh, you can visit there or you can just simply contact support or you, you can just click the WhatsApp link in the description or in the comments to get 60% off our advanced trading costs. You don't wanna walk this journey alone in terms of trading. So it's quite different from what we teach on our YouTube. It's more like holding your hand in the journey of trading and making sure you reach your final destination, which is to make money. I don't promise quick money, I'm not that guy. Trading does take time, but we put things in measure to make sure it can speed it up. We're not saying years maybe months and you start making money okay but please uh for those who are interested in this take this while it's still at your disposal we have the full price which may be a bit pricey for some of you guys who've been watching us for a very long time anyway please do subscribe please do like and of course my name is emmanuel mohale and the ceo of prophetic forex i will see you on part two definitely please do switch on your notifications and so forth God bless you.